and welcome to a workday vlog. Um, I'm going to be filming this vlog over a few days because basically what I'm planning for this vlog to be is kind of a start to end process of um, the new colourways for the Winnie the Pooh collection. Um, so 18th of January is Winnie the Pooh day. It is an official day. <laughs> um, every year there is a Winnie the Pooh day to celebrate um, Winnie the Pooh and the work of A. L. A. A. Milne um, and I initially launched my Winnie the Pooh collection on Winnie the Pooh day in 2018, 2019, something like that, I'm not 100% sure um, and I've kind of added to it over the years but it hasn't had any new colourways for quite a long time. So I thought this Winnie the Pooh day we would add a couple more colourways. So my starting point is to get out my big Winnie the Pooh book. Um, I actually bought this, I mentioned this on the podcast so if you've watched the podcast, I bought this book, it's one of those nice ones that's got like a sleeve that it lives in as well, um, for my grandma a number of years ago and um, when she passed away I got it back. Um, and I have used this for a lot of Winnie the Pooh pictures, it comes to me, comes with me to shows and sits on my bookshelf and um, I'm also using it for the inspiration for the new colourways. So there's going to be two new colourways. We are having a colourway inspired by Christopher Robin. So we were having a Christopher Robin sock set um, inspired kind of by this picture and this, this version of Christopher Robin. Um, and then we are also doing a Tigger sock set. It's going to be called Tiggers Don't Climb Trees. Uh, which is a specific Winnie the Pooh story and I'm using this image as kind of the basis of my inspiration. I've struggled with Tigger, I will admit, um, because his colours are quite similar. Well, in the book his colours are quite similar to Winnie the Pooh in that he's kind of the same yellowy colour um, or I tend to stick, and I tend to stick more to the books than I do to the Disney versions, um, but like if I went Disney, orange and black is not a particularly attractive colour. So I have struggled to do a, a, a Tigger colourway for years, but I'm quite pleased with using this picture as an inspiration. I think that's going to work really well. Um, so yarn is into soak and I'm ready to get going. So I will leave you with a few little musicy shots of um, me getting the colourways dyed up and then I will come back later on and in the following days once it's all dried up so that we can skein it and I can kind of show you how it came out and things like that um, and then I can share the whole collection ready before it all launches. Um, so yeah, I hope you enjoy a slightly different version of a workday vlog. I have some plans for a few more of these um, throughout, throughout the year, I guess. <laughs> If I got every word perfectly weighted on a thin piece of paper Would it make any difference? Would it change for the better? If I wrote you a poem, if I posted a letter I'm 
say, but I go without knowing. If I told you that I don't know what to believe in, don't know how to pray, but I pray anyway. Tell me you're the one, you're the one for me now, 'cause what am I supposed to do? If you are not the one, not the one. For it's a couple of days later since I last recorded anything for this video, but all of the Winnie the Pooh stuff is now dry. Well, apart from the Winnie the Pooh minis, they're still ongoing. I've got the last lot of the minis in the pan at the moment. Um, but they are an old colourway, they've been around for a while, so hopefully, hopefully you'll know what they look like by now. But the rest of it is all dry. Um, so I have dyed up some more poo sticks. Um, so poo sticks will be restocking, um, that is this one, it's a very variegated colourway but I love this colourway, um, it's got a mix of kind of greens and browns and stuff for the woodlands and then you've got some um, Winnie the Pooh colours in here as well and then there's also some kind of pinks and purples which are kind of piglet as well, so that is poo sticks, that will be restocking. Then we've got, um, I've re dyed some more actual Winnie the Pooh because we were out of Winnie the Pooh. So Winnie the Pooh has been dyed back on 100 gram skeins. I also have the other characters. So there's Eeyore, Piglet, Rabbit, Kanga and Roo. They, I've all got dyed up on 100 gram skeins as well. And they're the ones that make up the mini set. The one character who I have struggled with for absolutely years to find a colourway for is Tigger. And I've had so many people message me and say, are you gonna do a Tigger colourway? Is there gonna be a Tigger colourway? And I've really struggled with Tigger, but I have finally cracked a colourway, which I really like. It's not, it's not, um, I don't know how to explain it. It's not specifically Tigger, but it is also Tigger. Um, so I, I shared the picture of what I was kind of inspired by. Um, so the colourway is called Tigger's, D Tigger's Don't Climb Trees. And here it is. Um, I'm hoping this will show it up well enough. Um, so you've got kind of a yellowy orange base colour. And then there are speckles of greens and browns and there are also some kind of red speckles for the little blanket and some navy speckles in there as well um so yeah this is see if i can hold up a few of them so you can get a just tiggers don't climb trees and i'm really really pleased with this and how this one's come out i think i've sat myself too close to the window so it's all getting washed out but that's the problem with vlogs is you don't quite get the same lighting but there we go, so that's that one. And then the other new colourway, because there are two new colourways, I am in love with this one. I am so, so pleased with this one. It's completely my colours and I absolutely adore it. And that is Christopher Robin. <laughs> so here is Christopher Robin. Um, and I'm so, so pleased with how this came out. It is a mix of greens and blues. Um, there's a little bit of kind of yellowy greens in there as well. Um, there's little pops of navy and I'm going to be offering this one as a sock set which comes with a blue mini um, as well so that is Christopher Robin and I'm yeah as I said I'm so pleased with how this one came out um, I was originally just going to do it as sock sets but I actually love the colourway so much and I feel like it would make a really good garment as well um, that I think I'm going to offer it as just 100 gram skeins and then also sock sets. Um, so I need to have a little think about that. What I'm going to be doing with this shop update is basically everything will go up ready to ship and then I'll also pop up some die to order listings so if the ready to, ready to ship stuff sells out or if you want the colourway on a different base that isn't in stock um, then you can order it and that's the way it works and it'll be a two to three week kind of turnaround for the die to order stuff and um, so it's not too bad. Right what I'm going to do is take some photos of these um, and then I will pop the photos on the screen um, and give you a little a little photo montage so that you can actually see the colours better because it's all getting washed out sitting by the window. Um, but there we go, we have two new colourways for the Winnie the Pooh collection, all 
it's all dyed up it's all ready to go and the shop update will be on the 18th of January so I'm quite excited about that <laughs> So that is all of the Winnie the Pooh collection stuff and the new colourways and things for it. I hope you've enjoyed that kind of aspect of that sort of way of doing a workday vlog. I don't know. Um, anyway, before I leave the vlog and finish it off, I was going to share a new project with you that I have picked up this year. I ordered from Caterpillar Cross Stitch, I ordered their British Isles um, Adventure Cross Stitch Kit. Now that picture is supposed to be blurry um, <laughs> because it is not revealing the entire um, image basically so it is supposed to be blurry but yeah it is like a mystery stitch along throughout the year and um, each every I don't know how often there's six patterns that come out I've got it on my thing so for the first half of the year there's a bit of the pattern gets released each month and I bought the actual kit because I thought why not so it comes with some pale blue um Ada and I got the excuse the state of my fingernails and hands I've been dyeing yarn today I got the little London bus um needle minder so it's a magnetic needle minder and then these are all the colors all ready to go um and yeah I'm going to try and do this kit throughout the year. So stay tuned to see how, how much I keep up with it or don't keep up with it. We'll see. Um, but there we go. A little tangent and a little new project, which I will no doubt talk about on the podcast as well. But thank you very much for watching my workday vlog. I hope you've enjoyed it. And I will see you all again soon. Arthur's home. You're wearing your school jumper, buddy. I'm going to need to blur out your school jumper logo now. <laughs> <laughs> Don't keep coming back in. Keep it covered. Keep it covered. Save me blurring it out every time I edit. <laughs> right, we're going to say goodbye. See you again soon. Bye. Mm -hmm.